This video gives you a first-time overview of the DevExpress data grid control for Xamarin Forms. You'll start with a simple data bound grid and will continue to enable advanced capabilities such as end user grouping or in-place editing. You can navigate to the DevExpress documentation website to find instructions on how to create such a starter app. See the document titled, Add Data Grid to Xamarin Form Solution. Let's get started. Three files are of interest to us in this video. The first defines the record structure, that is the order class. Later in this tutorial, we will populate the grid control with a list of orders. That list is generated and stored in the order repository class. Finally, we'll specify grid settings in the XAML file that defines the main view. This file already sets binding context to order repository and adds a data bound grid control to the page. Note that you can review and copy all that code in the corresponding help topic on our website. In the documentation on the Xamarin Forms data grid, navigate to the Getting Started section. Now let's start the application and see how the grid control looks at this point. You can see that the grid automatically created columns for the three fields with simple types, date, time, boolean, and integer. The product column is missing because the field type is a custom object. We'll add that column in the next step. You can scroll the view, select records, and tap headers to sort data. Let's return to XAML code and explicitly define all columns the grid must display. The first two columns obtain product information that was previously missing. The grid will now display product name and unit price. Note the display format setting in the second column that enables currency display. One more new column is total. This column is unbound, meaning that it does not obtain its value from a data field. Instead, the grid calculates this column's values based on the specified expression. In this case, quantity is multiplied by unit price. Let's run the application again and review the changes. You can see the additional column we defined in XAML. You can now also scroll the view horizontally. Back in code, let's add data grouping settings to the date column. One attribute indicates that data should be grouped against this column. Another sets the group interval to dates. If records will have the same date but different time values, they will still fall into the same group. Let's run the app and see the result. You can now see group rows that display dates. You can tap them to collapse or expand child records. Return to XAML. Now let's add totals and group summaries to the view. The group summary will display the maximum total value within each group. The first total summary simply displays the aggregate sum calculated against the total column. The second total summary calculates the number of orders that haven't been shipped. This type of summary requires manual implementation. The type is set to custom, and the calculation logic is implemented with the help of a specially designed event, on calculate custom summary. You can review and copy this custom summary code in our documentation. In the Getting Started section, navigate to Lesson 4, Calculate Summaries. Let's run the application again. You'll see group summaries right aligned in each group row. Totals are displayed all the way at the bottom in the grids footer. This concludes our quick tutorial. We recommend that you also review our demo to learn about other capabilities available in our Xamarin Forms grid control. You can get the demo source from devexpress.com, download manager, or from our GitHub repository. To review the app on your mobile device, find the free download on the iOS App Store or in Google Play. In the first look demo, you'll see a familiar grouped layout. You can learn how to display images in data cells and glyphs in group rows. The virtual scrolling demo shows how a grid can load the data on demand for faster initial load. Scroll the view vertically or horizontally to see how data cells are rendered on the fly. In the drag and drop demo, try to move rows around. You can also check or uncheck the completed field to see the record move to an appropriate position within the grid. Finally, let's look at the editing demo. 
Here you can tap on cells to activate in-place editors. This can be a text box, a track bar, a checkbox, or other appropriate control from the DevExpress Data Editors Library. If you'd rather edit a record on a separate screen, simply switch the edit mode to Edit Form. That kind of UI metaphor is more common in mobile applications. There are too many demos to review in this video. Please download the application and review all of them to get a better understanding of the features available in the DevExpress data grid for Xamarin Forms. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Xamarin Forms data grid. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.